today I'm going to show you how you can jack up your vehicle without doing any damage to it. Now years ago jacking cars was easy. Cars had solid frames on the bottom that the body's bolted to. You just put the jack on the frame and jack it up in the air. But it's been decades since cars had real solid frames. They use what's called unibody construction. There is no actual solid frame that you can jack it up on. If you go under the car and think this is the frame and start jacking up, it'll just bend right in. Instead, many cars have these special little holes here that a jack is supposed to fit in and jack it up. But guess what? A lot of times these jack saddles don't fit on there that well and they'll either slip or they'll bend that part of the car. But there's a special tool you can get. Looks like a giant hockey puck. Only it has a V slice sliced in it, so it fit right in there. You just place it on top of your jack. Then as you jack it up in the air, it slides right into the groove. And then the car's jacked up in the air, nice and safely. It won't slip and it won't bend anything. It's a pretty nifty idea. And if you want to check it out, just go to Amazon and type in extra large slotted universal rubber jack pad frame rail protector. There it is, right there. But let's say you don't have a big jack like mine, but you have a smaller jack. They make smaller ones. Or if you don't like spending $19.99, you can buy a hockey puck like I did that costs $2. Then cut a slot in it with a hacksaw. Now admittedly it's not going to look as neat, but these hockey pucks are really hard and it'll work perfectly fine. As you can see. So the next time you want to jack your car up safely without damaging anything, now you know what to do. You can buy one of these rubber frame rail protectors or you can make one from a hockey puck. Hockey stick not included. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.